Welcome to our literature review series. This series is to assist you with conducting a literature review. I am Elizabeth, the faculty librarian for the AgriSciences faculty at Stellenbosch University. And in this video, we go into understanding what a literature review is. As you can see, a literature review is what this definition says, but it's not just restating what is happening in the literature, but rather looking at it with a critical lens. This means you need to describe the literature, summarize the literature, evaluate the literature, and clarify the literature, all in relation to your chosen topic. The purpose of a literature review mirrors what it is and can be broken down into the following. It identifies gaps in current knowledge. It avoids reinventing the wheel, i.e. it saves you wasting time researching something that's already been done. It allows you to show that you are building on a foundation of existing knowledge and ideas, carrying on from where others have already reached. It identifies other people working in the same field. Knowing who's already working in your area and getting in touch with them can be a valuable source of knowledge and support. It demonstrates the depth of your knowledge about your research and it identifies the important works in your area and shows that you've read them. So overall, a literature review gives the reader the background, context and understanding of your research topic so that they too understand why your research should be conducted. In this way, it can be said that the literature review provides an argument and gives evidence for need for your research project to happen. It also shows very importantly that you as a researcher are grounded in current research practices and that you are building onto what already exists in the scholarly community. And in this way, its point is to provide scholarly motivation for your research project. Thanks for watching. Don't miss our next video in the series where I go into some useful tips on how to choose your topic and define your research question, problem or hypothesis. Mm -hmm.